everyone, welcome to After Effects Tutorials. Today we are going to create this beautiful effect in Adobe After Effects. Hold me close till I get up. Time is belly. Let's get started. Open After Effect. It can be any version you want to use. Click New Composition. Name it Audio Spectrum. I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixel and frame rate is 30. My comp duration is 1 minute long, but you can use according to your song. Click OK. Now add your image background. And add your song to the project. Using Ctrl I to import the image background and the song to the project. Now add the image to your timeline. Now P to open its position and then press and hold Alt and click on this stopwatch icon. It will allow you to write script on it. Now right wiggle to comma 10 and close the bracket. If you move your timeline you can see the image is wiggling. Now add a new solid using right click, new, solid or control Y to create a solid. Name it reactor. Choose any color you want. And click OK. Let's add a circle mask. Select your reactor layer and go to the tools and then select ellipse tool. Keep your cursor into the middle and start drawing a mask. Press shift to make a perfect circle. And then press ctrl plus shift to make a uniform perfect round circle. From the middle let's keep its size bigger. And then change mask type to none. Now go to the effects and preset. And search for the audio spectrum. Add this preset on the reactor layer, to create a audio spectrum. Now go to the project window and add the song to your timeline. I will add the link for this song in the description box down below. Now select the react layer and go back to effects properties. Now go to audio layer and select your song. Change path to mask 1. Change end frequency to 300. Frequency bands to 100. Maximum height to 1200. But you can choose height according to your song. Thickness to 10. Softness to 0%. And also change the color to white for both, we will change the color later. Now go down and change side option to side B. As it will appear outside the circle. Hide the mask by clicking this link. Now move your timeline to check the spectrum. Now go to your reactor layer. And select mask 1. And press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's turn on the visibility. And double click the mask anchor points on the screen. Transform its size by pressing Ctrl plus Shift key on your keyboard tool. Now go to the effects and presets and search for the stroke effect. Double click on it to apply it on the layer. Now go to path and change mask 1 to mask 2. Now change brush size to 10. Brush hardness to 75%. And spacing to 0%. Now, now go to frame 0. Row. 
and then change the start value to 100%. After that add a keyframe on it. Now go to the frame where your song is ending, in my case at the 1 minutes. Now change the start value to 0%. If you play your animation, you can actually see your progress bar is moving. According to the duration of the song, this is what we are looking for. Let's add another stroke. Select your mask 2 and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Turn on the visibility of your mask by pressing the button on the screen. Adjust your mask by clicking the anchor points and then use Ctrl plus Shift to resize it. Perfect. Add a stroke effect to the mask by double clicking it. Now do the same procedure again, by changing path to mask 3. Brush size to 4 only. Hide the mask visibility. The reactor is complete now let's move to the next step let's create a clock timer inside this reactor. Now add a text layer and place it in the middle of the circle. Open the text property. And you will find this source text, if you alt click on the stopwatch icon. You can add a script to it this, here is the script which we are going to paste inside it. Select all and press Ctrl plus C, to copy it press and hold out alt key on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch icon and then paste it in the script area, perfect. Resize the text according to your need. Our clock is now working. Select the move tool and move the timer to the middle of the circle. And align its paragraph option align to the left. You can change it font according to your need. Let's rename it to Timer. Select your both layer. Right click on it and then pre-compose it. Change its composition name to, Audio Reactor. And select Move All Attributes into the new composition. And click OK. Again go to the effect and presets and search for the four color gradients. Apply this effect on your audio reactor and adjust few settings. This effect allows you to add four colors to the single area, that helps to add stunning colors. I am using the green color shades, but you are free to add any color shades, you want to use. Please spend some time to adjust the colors, it is the color only, that add life to your audio spectrum. Now go to timeline and change mode from normal to screen. If you cannot see it, press shift F4 to see it. You can use this design for audio spectrum. If you want more depth to audio spectrum, let follow few more steps. Go to effects and presets, and add glow effect to it.
Now select audio reactor layer again and duplicate it too, by pressing it Ctrl D. Perfect. Now rename it audio rays. Cool. Now go to the effects and presets and search for the CC Light Burst 2.5 effect. Apply it to audio rays layer, by double clicking it. Change rays length to 100. But be careful. The more the rays, more it will take time to render. Move CC light effect above to glow effect. Select your background layer and go to effects and preset and select hue or saturation and double click to apply it. Change master lightness to minus 85. And master saturation to minus 100. Select your audio rays layer and press S to open scale, change the scale value to 90. And it will create some depth into your design. Thanks for watching this tutorial have a good day.